everyone and welcome back to the Innovent WWW show. This time we are in beautiful London. Very rainy London, but still very beautiful. We are here for Event Tech Live, which is taking place over the next two days. We are sponsors of the Tech Talk stage. We've got our own booth and we'll be having some amazing conversations with different people about the newest trends in technology. I'm here for another ping pong Q&A and I'm here with Michelle Bruno from Dahlia Plus Agency. Yes. Thank you, Michelle. So I'm going to ask you two questions. Yep. We're going to start with a professional one. Mm -hmm. So we're obviously at Advent Tech Live. What new trending technologies have you seen that you think are going to be really big over the next couple of years? I know everyone is torn over <laughs> the metaverse, Yeah. but I really think that that's the direction of the future and yeah. not just because of the platforms and the technology. I think that we're entering a very decentralized world, uh, a world where consumers want to do their own thing yeah. in different ways and um, I think the metaverse in concept offers the most opportunity for where we're going as a society, as an economy, the world. Metaverse related things or technology that would work in the metaverse. And it's about the immersive experiences, right? I think that's what the metaverse will provide. It's an experience rather than right. just like a 2D environment. Right. So the personal question, as we are in London, mm -hmm. what is your favorite British TV show? Well, I haven't watched any television since I've been here, but I do have a BritBox subscription. Yeah, okay. So I get a lot of BBC. I like um, any kind of Downton Abbey yeah, I sort was of about thing. to say Downton Abbey. Right? I love any kind of murder mystery, so uh, okay. Whitechapel, Broadchurch, any, anything that is a puzzle that I have to figure out. Ah. I, I really like and I, I watch it almost every night oh, when nice. I'm home. Well, yes. Michelle, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Myself and Pedro were on this stage earlier today, the Tech Talk stage, where we were hosting our talk about combating boring events using TV like magic and the stage is sponsored by InEvent. We all remember it pre-pandemic right those blurry screens you know the camera is really bad the you know the, the audio is lagging you can't hear what's up oh you're on mute you know we still get that nowadays though but you tune out because it's not engaging when that happens and it's not expensive and not hard to actually produce some really quality audiovisual. What we do, for example, is we have a training, for example, that we offer for event managers and event professionals. They can go through that. And this training has been around for five years and nobody would engage with it. Like it was like zero engagement. They only purchased, they only engaged with it when they were required to. And then we relaunched this, like we went to a studio, we recorded everything and became like a TV show. And now it's called Event Academy. And Event Academy now has classes every week for like 20, 30 people. The same is the same content, is the same topics, but if you design this with you know entertainment, you know, focused, uh, that can be just much better on the delivery. So it's been an incredible day. We've been super busy here at the booth all day. Now it's empty, but it's been non-stop. Wave to the camera, Lionel! All right, we're back for another quick ping pong Q&A with Ricardo from Tech Factory. I love this, this introduction. Well, yeah. thank you so much for doing this. My pleasure. Um, so, Ricardo, two questions. Okay. First one. What sort of event technologies have you seen recently that you think are going to become quite big over the next couple of years? Okay, so I just met a gentleman um, a couple of minutes ago. <laughs> uh, the name of the company is Event Mender, and okay. he is a hub essentially for 
um, virtual platforms. Okay. So he bridges that gap for uh, event planners that may not know what platform they want to use. Okay. And I yeah. think it's a great idea for a business. Wow. And he's just getting started, I think, in the last 11 months. So it's like a directory and he will help you sort of filter a little, through. A little, yeah. yes. A di directory with hands-on like experience of understanding what these platforms okay. offer and assessing nice. your needs and properly being able to place you in those segments within that directory, so to speak. Well, that was really a great cool. little plug for the uh, yeah, event mentor, right? I don't even right? know him. I, I wish I knew his name, but... <laughs> That's fine. Yeah. We'll, we'll figure that one out. Yeah. So, second question. Favorite TV, uh, British TV show? Ah, uh, Downton Abbey. Ah, oh, yes. everyone. You know what? I'm going to make a bet on <laughs> out of, like, we do five of these, how many? We've got two already on Downton Abbey. Yeah, Downton Abbey. It is Abbey a great was, show, though. Yeah, it it is really a great, good. it's a really British show. Honestly, I didn't think I would enjoy it. I was like, what is this? Yeah. And it's like, you get roped in, and it's like, the story is just great. You know what? I'm going to admit, I've never watched it. <laughs> oh, get out and of I, here. I know, and I live here, and I've never watched it. I know, it's really bad. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. I might be expelled from Britain after this. <laughs> Ricardo, thank you so very much for doing that. Cheers. Yeah, yeah. See you soon.